one big knob. It's got some little knobs, but one big knob. <coughs> hey guys, so I'm out in New York at the minute. I know this doesn't look like New York and this actually looks like my little man shed at home. Um, but I am actually in New York. I just want, I recorded this before I went because I didn't want to be having to record videos while I was in New York and like I'm recording videos while I'm in New York obviously that's why I'm there I wanted to record this video before I went because um, I didn't want to be recording videos out there to upload at the same time because you run into just a whole host of issue, issues trying to you know, get the right bandwidth to upload and stuff like that this isn't my shed, it's my temporary shed I have got a studio, you, know, you guys know that in fact we're going to go there right now in a minute and uh, I want to show you this really cool bass amp uh, with just one big knob in the middle of it as well. Um, so I want to uh, I want to go like show you this uh, this bass amp with this huge big. And I'm going to tell you exactly how you can win it as well. But uh, first of all, let me. Well, man, while I've got you, actually, uh, we got mice. I went to eat my bread this morning. This is where I keep my bread in the bread bin. I was like super pumped. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have a slice of toast opened it up, got out the bread, and I was like, I said to my son's story, I was like, have you been nibbling at this bread? So my wife was freaking out, and we've had to set this little trap, look. I've got this little, they're actually coming through. We live in the middle of the woods, so there's like loads of wildlife around here, but they're obviously coming through these little holes there. Little monkeys, so we've set these traps. Obviously, they're humane traps. I don't want to kill the mice. I love, I don't love mice, but, you know, I don't want to kill any mice. We had a ton of questions last week about who we were recording out in New York. Stuff in this like project management system here. Michael Manring, we've got Andrew Goucher, we've got Rich Brown, Adam Neely's coming back, uh, we've got Reggie Young, we've got Randy Kurtz, we've got Jonathan Marin coming back in, we've got Oscar Stagnaro, the Latin specialist up at Berkeley coming down, we've got Sean Hurley coming in and he's bringing in David Ryan Harris, who's a guitarist and vocalist for John Mayer obviously, we've got Felix Pastorius and Mike Bendy, Gail and Dorsey coming in, obviously was playing with uh, uh, you know, played with David Bowie and Lenny Kravitz. We've got Kevin Scott coming in and we've got his band, well, a band that he plays with called Fork. Um, Henry Hay on keys, they're all coming in. The SPL podcast is going to feature a lot of the, the bands and stuff, so make sure you are subscribed to the podcast over on iTunes. If I'm talking about wildlife, our cat's doing okay as well. I think I mentioned last week that she'd really hurt a leg. She's actually, uh, I thought it was broken and she was stuck underneath the cabin. Have I shown you inside it? Oh look, she's here. Look, are you gonna do some limping for them? Yeah. In here, it's gonna be, oh, I'm gonna hopefully convert this into a real studio. Like, because obviously I've got my studio, it's like 30, 40, it's 30 minutes drive from here. It's a super, it's a bit of a, it's an hour's drive every day that I don't want to do. I'd rather spend an hour more with my kids. Like I did think about, if I show you over here, it's actually quite long. So there's one side of it and there's, it goes all the way down here. It's split into two. My, uh, we've been in talks with the wife. And uh, look at the cat, you see. I've been in talks with the wife. I don't think she's gonna let me have the full thing. I think that's where we're at the minute. She's like, you can have half of it, but you can't have the full thing. I think I'm just gonna have to, you know, quit while I'm ahead and go for that. Now, let's go check out this amp. It's so cold in here. One amp head. Oh. And the cab, heard about these amps for, man they've been around for a long time, but um, so I'm super excited about trying them out. I think this might be the wrong amp. I've opened the wrong amp. Okay! One big knob. It's got some little knobs, but one big knob. Looks uh, pretty neat. So, that's the one big knob, and it's a, I don't know if you've heard of these guys before, they're super cool, Bergantino, 700 watts at 4 ohms. 
you can read that be a bit easier for you guys if you're wondering what's on the back the thing about the big knob right guys is that wait a minute like months ago or maybe even like a few years ago I joked and I said that I don't want loads of controls on a on an app I just want one big knob volume and uh, and then uh, Stu I think it was Stu who's uh, one of the team members at SBL messaged me and on our messaging system and he was like hey Bergantino have released an amp and it's just got one big knob <laughs> oh nice 210 light winner winner chicken dinner quite oh, slim check it out generally your cabs are a little thicker a little deeper so it's quite it's, it's cute it's easy to carry anyway I think it's time for us to try this amp out I'm gonna need some lights on This baby should do the trick. Okay, so just to um, give you a brief of where I'm at with this, I've got it plugged into, got a bit too loud. It's really loud by the way, so. Yeah, and it sounds like my instant reaction when I first plugged in is that it was like super clean and really fast um, in terms of response. I don't know how many bass amps that you've tried out, but there is definitely, and I don't know anything about them. Like technically, I'm useless. I struggle to, you know, send a text on a damn iPhone. But I do know that when I plug into different amps, there's a different response time. So when I play the note, For instance, um, Ampegs, I would say, have got a, a slower response time. Um, Euphonic Audio that I've used before have got a, a fast response time. Um, and then there's sort of like variable things in between that. This is like, it's a fast, it's got like a... <laughs> Controls are bass, low mid, high mid, treble. Um, they're really usable. That's not too much. I hate it when you boost the bass and it's too much. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I'd probably have that boosted a bit. Nice. Low mid, one of my favourites. I've always recommended it to, you know, boost your signal within the band or at least cutting through in the band. I'll just... If you're listening to this in crappy laptop speakers, obviously, guys, plug in your headphones. Tones wide open on the bass as well. That's it right up, cranked right up. Again, it's, it's a subtle control. And then the high mid, again, I'm just going to take these two down. I'll crank it right up. You can hear it there. And then finally, you've got the treble. Now, the treble, again, it's really subtle. That's it, cranked right up, but it is. It's nice, it's nice, it's smooth. Me personally, I always back off the treble a little bit. I have the high mid, dead center, low mid, I sometimes boost a snadge, and then the, uh, and the, the bass, I always boost a snadge as well. So that's probably my settings. It has also got a bright control that does what it says on the packet, adds brightness. Here's it without the bright control. Okay, so that's it without the bright, without with it. It's just adding a little bit of a little bit of salt on top. The, this thing here, the VRC control, let me just uh, VRC, the new proprietary Bergantino VRC compressor, variable ratio compressor. 
There you go. Oh, I can hear it kicking in. That's, that's, that's quite smooth, actually. Now I'm just cranking it too much so you can hear it on. Guys, honestly, it's a cracking amp. You should definitely check them out. Bergantino Forte and this cool 2x10, which I can't tell you how portable this thing is. It really is portable. Um, it's like, it's a really great amp. It's definitely that studio vibe. Um, and, it, and the EQ is really usable. It's got one big knob on it. And uh, I think you should uh, absolutely go and uh, investigate them some more. Another cool thing is I kind of like the rubber feet. It's got these weird little rubber feet on as well. That I think is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's a little different from... Let me show you. Hang on. It's got these little weird rubber feet things on here, which are, I don't know, it's kind of nice. Okay, so this as well, just to let you know, I'm so useless with prices. I very rarely mention prices or at least get them right on my videos, which is, uh, I think it's one of my quirks. But uh, this is like $900. I don't know if it retails for that or that is street value. Like, I'm not sure what that even means. In the UK, we don't really have retail and street. We just have one price, but that's what it's saying anyway. Guys, if you want to um, win this uh, awesome amp the Bergantino Forte and this Bergantino 2x10 cab all you need to do is two things uh, number one is leave a comment under the video okay and I want you to I want to make this fun tell me in the comments if you could only have three controls on your amp okay three controls and one of them had to be volume okay what would the other two be so you can write volume and then two other Controls, bass, middle, treble, compressor. What is it? What would you want? If you had to have it, okay, you only allowed three controls on a bass amp. One of them is a volume, so you've only got two left. What would they be? Let me know in the comments, and I'll choose a winner from the comments. And also, um, number two, the second thing you've got to do to be uh, entered in this competition is just subscribe to the Scott's Bass Lessons YouTube channel. You can do that below. It's super easy. Whoa, 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 where are you going? If you haven't subscribed to the Scott's Bass Lessons channel yet here on YouTube, click the link, subscribe. I release two videos like this every single week. You can also check out our other videos over there. And if you've not checked out scottsbasslessons.com membership, check it out. You can grab your 14-day free trial over there.